Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So you know what to do. Let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. If you can hear my mom in the living room, please try to tune her out. Take a deep breath in. Release. I am more than meets the eye. I am more than meets the eye. I am more than meets the eye. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, release. <sighs> what is up my manifesting mama seeders and my miracle mind admit? <laughs> Today we are gonna be talking about manifesting. You guys know I am the manifesting mama Sita. Okay, there's lots of wires here. I gotta be careful. Okay, don't, your girl doesn't wanna get electrocuted. There is a lot going on, right? Um, I am a manifesting mama Sita. Got my celery juice on deck. If you have an autoimmune disease, if you need minerals, if you need fiber, uh, I almost said cyber juice. Celery juice is your go-to. If you have not gotten onto the celery juice train, you need to get on it. Follow Medical Medium on Instagram. He will tell you all the information you need to know about celery juice. Anyway, okay. I am a self-proclaimed manifesting mamacita. I've been able to manifest money. I've been able to manifest large sums of money. I've been able to manifest people. I've been able to manifest opportunities for myself. I've been able to manifest lots of free stuff. I've been able to manifest finding money on the floor. Your girl is manifesting out here in these streets, okay? But, and you know, so many people teach about how to manifest, how to manifest vibes, 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 vibes vibes frequencies all of that um but there's so much more to universe and life than just manifesting material things trust me when i say i love a good material thing i'm a luxury i love luxury things i am a very like I love earthy things but i also love luxury things so if we're going out in the desert we need to be in a high quality airbnb you know what i'm saying like you have to have balance up in these streets you gotta have balance so there's nothing wrong with acquiring um material things but i just think we as a collective consciousness are ready to move forward more and go deeper you know what i'm saying like we don't I don't want you guys to get hooked on universe and life and God just because of what you can receive, just because of your magical manifesting powers. I want you guys to go deeper. How about what is what is the sense in, in manifesting um, $2,000 if you still feel like shit? If you still have not worked on your healing, if you still have not worked on feeling good with or without the $2,000, do you guys get what I'm saying? There are so many things that universe and life and angels want you to know, want you to understand, want you to delve into, but we only use this like tiny percentage of universe, of angels, of our magical power. So this is like a PSA for y'all to just like go deeper. So. For the past five weeks, we have been, we had the new moon in Libra and we had the Taurus full moon a few days ago. I am trying to get more into the moons and working with moon and just feeling good with the moon, you know, the moon. The moon. <laughs> I'm just trying to feel good with the moon, you know what I'm saying? And what has been happening is basically the third dimension, right? The third dimension, there's a lot where crime is, where war is, where rape is, where you're doing things for the physical. That is diminishing. And what we're seeing is that the light is becoming more powerful than the evil. So we as a collective consciousness are rising up. That's why you see more people speaking out. That's why you see people marching. That's why you see people... Um, uh, just becoming better human beings, right? But that's also why you see a lot more violence and craziness going on in the world because it's like a battle. And this has been going on for eons, right? But now we are shifting into the fifth dimension of love, light, power, compassion, empathy, and all that good stuff. So I say that to say, use your manifesting powers to heal. Use your manifesting powers to bless somebody else use your manifesting powers to allow yourself to enter into the new collective consciousness the new dimension with ease and grace and everything that you do 
when you are, see, the thing about manifesting is that sometimes it's selfish, right? And you guys know I'm all about self-full, I'm all about self-love, I'm all about self-care, I'm all about, you know, making yourself a priority, okay, honey, I am, I am. But, you know, manifesting $2,000, who is that for? Who is that for? That is for you. Which makes, which makes me want to do like a side note. When you are manifesting money, I know I said stop manifesting, but let me just say this real quick. Let me just say it. When you are manifesting money, it's not the money, the green thing that you want. That's not it. What you are manifest, what you desire is the access. That's what money gives you is access to higher quality food, access to clothes, access to paying off student loans, access to paying your rent. So it's not that you want $2,000. When you are manifesting money, when you're praying about money, guys, pray for, thank you God for blessing me with the, uh, paying my rent for the next six months. Thank you God for blessing me with getting all of my groceries from Whole Foods for the rest of the year. Because it's not about the green paper, right? Like that is not, that doesn't mean anything. But this green paper will give you access to certain things, higher quality things, a better life. So side note, if you are gonna manifest money, make the intention about what you are desiring access to. Don't just ask for $24,000. Like what, what, you got, what you want that money for? What do you want that money for? What do you want it for? So, okay. So, stop manifesting, right? <laughs> Side note. Stop manifesting. And because manifesting can be selfish. So, now that we are entering into the new dimension, I ask you to start praying for others and praying for real things. Real things that fucking matter. Like your healing. Like your generational trauma. Like your your anxiety, like your mental issues. Start manifesting a clear mind. Start manifesting an open heart. Start manifesting those things. And in that, whatever you do to better yourself, you are automatically bettering others. You're bettering the collective consciousness because we are all connected. So yeah, guys, stop manifesting this material shit. Just put it on the back burner, right? Like, take a second, hold up. And if you are in a manifesting role of manifesting like um, like some Fendi shoes, some Chanel bags, I'm not going to stop you. But I am just asking you to do more with spirit. Do more with God. There's so much deeper to go. There's so much that God and life and universe wants to show you. But if you don't ask, you will not receive because they will not intercede on your free will. Okay? Okay. I thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Beanie TV. If you are new, hit the subscribe button, get them notifications so that you can get some sprinkles of spiritual sassiness in your life, honey. Um, follow me on Instagram at Beanie TV. Follow me on Twitter at Beanie TV. And I just pray that you guys continue to have peace, peace of mind, peace in your heart, that the past is the past. I pray that God just opens up doors for you, but doors that allow you to be blessed and allow others to be blessed. I just hope that your angels continue to cover you and love you into this new week. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next video.